At this time of the year, we are basically experiencing uh, those uh, gusty winds, which are normal. We also tend to see those uh, swells pushing in from the north, but also bearing in mind that March is usually the uh, driest month of the year. But not so this March. We've set a record for the wettest March ever for Trinidad as well as parts of Tobago. But in terms of the breeze, looking for strong breezes to come through 50 kilometers per hour or more as we'll be experiencing out at sea. We could be seeing some more of that as we go through tomorrow. That's all courtesy of the high pressure, which is firmly in charge out in the Atlantic. The winds are spinning across from the east coming into the west and also tend to bring those breezy conditions across parts of the coastlines of Trinidad and the Tobago. So you will notice the palm swaying even at night along the coastlines of Tobago and then the breeze will pick up as we get the daytime heating coming through to Roxburgh into Scarborough as well. A bit of haze is also possible but it will be that a breeze that you will feel all the way through your Thursday. Similarly for Trinidad look for the winds are picking up through Toco coming all the way down through San Lubier and down towards Manzanilla as well. Breezy conditions are expected to push through Blanchichez and all along the north coast of Trinidad and down along the eastern shoreline. You obviously will notice the palm swaying as you go through your afternoon. Now, there is a chance of a few showers that being pushed in on at those breezes, but for the most part, most of those showers should be brief and we should be seeing those are passing through as you go into your afternoon and then fading by nightfall. By tonight, we're looking at a temperatures of 22 degrees Celsius, and uh, by day, a 31 degrees Celsius likely in Trinidad, but 32 in the capital is uh, possible with all the concrete around. For Tobago, very little is set to change for the next uh, few days. The high pressure is in charge, and we'll likely see those are dominant conditions are continuing through Trinidad as well. High pressure means that the air will basically be subsiding, sinking, and basically trapping most of uh, the clouds, so they won't be seeing any of those uh, heavy showers. Uh, that you've been uh, seeing over the last uh, few weeks. But in terms of uh, the seas, still looking at a two and a half meters uh, through the Caribbean and Atlantic, there's long northeasterly swells of 14 seconds, and it will be accompanied, as we mentioned before, with uh, those uh, strong winds, possibly over 50 kilometers per hour. Now, around the cold front, which is towards the north around the Cuba, you do tend to get breezy conditions here, but it is being modulated. That is uh, basically being modified by some warm air from the Caribbean. So most of the showers should begin to fade, but they will still be hanging around parts of Jamaica as well as into Port-au-Prince in Haiti, but not so much for Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. And they'll also be joined by a lot of sunshine through the Lesser Antilles from the Leeward Islands in Antigua, come straight down to Barbados and eventually into St. George's Grenada. But for Georgetown, maybe a bit more cloudiness than they've had lately and a few brief showers are possible with a high of 31 expected there through Thursday. So that's your weather and that's it for me.